10 things we bet you didn't know about Michaela Tab. Michaela Tab is one of the most respected referees in snooker history. But as a snooker referee, she has an extraordinary life that most of her fans don't know. These 10 mind-boggling facts will reshape your perception of Michaela Tab. From her unexpected career twists to lesser-known secrets, stay tuned as we reveal them all. At number 10, Michaela Tab's career in pool. Before becoming a renowned referee, Michaela Tab had a successful career as a pool player in the 1990s and early 2000s. She was born on December 11, 1967 in Bath, England and moved to Scotland at the age of three. Despite not completing her degree in chemistry, biology and psychology at the University of Glasgow, she transitioned to becoming a full-time professional referee after working as a sales representative for various companies, including the Anne Summers lingerie retailer. Her playing career in pool began in 1991 when she started competing in competitive black ball at the age of 23. Her talents quickly gained recognition and in the following year, she was selected to play on the Scottish ladies pool team. Her leadership skills shone as she captained the team to two consecutive Grand Slam titles in 1997 and 1998 and achieved success in the Nations Cup, European Championships and World Championships in the same season. Her individual achievements included winning the UK Women's Single Title in 1997 and the European Pool Championship in Gibraltar the following year. At number 9, Michaela Tab's career as a referee. Michaela Tab's journey into refereeing began in the mid-1990s when she and her husband, Ross McKins, started organising amateur 8-ball and 9-ball pool tournaments. Encouraged by McKins, she made her professional refereeing debut at the St Andrews Cup Nine Ball Pool Tournament in September 1997, even while pregnant with her first son. Her television debut followed in 1998, when the St Andrews Cup was broadcast on Sky Sports. Michaela Tab quickly rose through the ranks and became one of the top officials. She officiated at prestigious events such as the WPA World Nine Ball Championship and the Moscone Cup and established herself as a respected figure in the pool community. In 2017, she took on the role of head referee at the World Pool Series and further solidified her presence in the world of Q-Sports. Her transition to snooker refereeing came in 2001 when Jim McKenzie, then Chief Executive of the World Professional Billiards and Snooker Association, recruited her with the aim of changing the traditional all-male image of snooker referees. Despite facing initial resentment from fellow officials due to her exemption from the customary five-year refereeing apprenticeship, she qualified as a Class 3 snooker referee in September 2001. At number 8, Tab's impactful stint in snooker refereeing. Michaela Tab made history on January 23, 2002, as the first woman to referee at a professional ranking snooker tournament, overseeing a match between Ken Doherty and James Watana at the 2002 Welsh Open. In the subsequent years, she continued to break barriers making her World Snooker Championship debut at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield in 2003. On February 18, 2007, Tab achieved another milestone by becoming the first woman to officiate at a ranking event final, overseeing Neil Robertson's victory at the 2007 Welsh Open. Her significant contributions continued as she refereed her first Triple Crown final at the 2008 Masters and took charge of the China Open final in 2009, where Peter Ebdon beat John Higgins. However, her most notable accomplishment came in 2009, when she became the first woman to referee a World Snooker Championship final. She repeated this feat in 2012 by officiating the final between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ali Carter. As of 2023, Michaela Tab remains the only female referee 
to have officiated at a World Snooker Championship final. At number seven, challenging role at the 900. In a recent chapter of her refereeing journey, Michaela Tab faced a unique challenge at the 900. This event demanded late night officiating and simultaneous management of her blackball table business. Refereeing matches from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Monday to Wednesday, she faced this hectic schedule while running her business from a hotel room in Reading and commuting between Scotland and England. Despite the challenging hours and demands, she expressed her enjoyment of the experience and emphasised the quick pace of the matches. At number six, legal dispute with World Snooker. In 2015, Michaela Tab found herself entangled in a legal battle with World Snooker, the business arm of the professional game, following her departure from the circuit in March of that year. The referee, who had claimed sex discrimination, unfair dismissal and breach of contract, took her case to an employment tribunal in Bristol. World Snooker, chaired by Barry Hearn, contested these allegations, leading to a contentious legal proceeding. The dispute reached its resolution through an out-of-court settlement, as announced by World Snooker. The terms of that settlement remained confidential, but it is understood that an undisclosed sum was paid to TAB. Before we move on to number five, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Michaela Tab's early life took an interesting turn when her family moved to Scotland when she was just three years old. Her academic journey led her to the University of Glasgow, where she studied chemistry, biology and psychology, though she chose not to complete her degree. Before starting her career as a full-time professional referee, she worked as a sales representative for several blue chip companies and even for the Anne Summers lingerie retailer. As of now, she resides in Dunfermline, Scotland with her husband Ross McKins, who is a pool player. The couple met while playing on the men's and women's Scottish pool teams. They have two sons, Morgan and Preston, both of whom have followed in their mother's footsteps by playing competitive pool. Morgan McKins, in particular, has represented Scotland's under-23 18 at the European Pool Championships. And number four, career beyond the queue. Michaela Tab not only made history by officiating two World Snooker Championship finals, but also sparked debates with a unique aspect of her post-career aspirations. In an interesting revelation, she expressed a desire to undertake a racy photo shoot once her career as a referee ends. Despite her openness about this aspiration, she emphasised the importance of timing, stating that there is a time and a place for such endeavours. In a 2012 interview with The Daily Record, she made it clear that her focus during significant snooker events should remain on her role as a referee, steering away from any distractions that could divert attention from her officiating prowess. At number three, Michaela Tabbs and Summers Connection. Michaela Tabbs' career includes a noteworthy stint with Anne Summers, a renowned lingerie retailer. Before ascending to the role of a professional referee, Tab worked as a sales representative for Anne Summers, where her responsibilities included organising and hosting parties at people's homes. These events, as she described, were marked by humour and camaraderie, as guests tried on the showcase lingerie, which created a lively atmosphere. Her acknowledgement of her experience at Anne Summers provides insight into her ability to balance different roles. From creating a light-hearted atmosphere at lingerie parties to officiating intense snooker matches, she showed versatility in her professional journey. At number two, net worth. As of 2023, Michaela Tab boasts a commendable net worth of $1.4 million. This financial milestone reflects not only her power on the snooker table, but also her strategic moves beyond the queue. Throughout her career, 
Tab accumulated a substantial portion of her net worth through prize money, endorsements, and various ventures. At number one, income streams. In addition to her contributions to snooker, Michaela Tapp has gone into the world of entrepreneurship and demonstrated her business acumen. Recent reports highlight Tab's thriving business, which generates £1 million each year. This transition from a celebrated referee to a successful business owner adds a new dimension to Tab's professional portfolio. World snooker professional referees earn a base salary of $25,000 per season. According to Sporting3.com, the base salary for a female snooker referee is slightly lower at $20,000 per season. So her expected base salary is $20,000. Tab's net worth not only reflects her achievements within the snooker arena, but also symbolizes her ability to leverage her skills and reputation into successful businesses beyond the queue. As she continues to make headlines with her entrepreneurial pursuits, Michaela Tab exemplifies a multifaceted professional whose impact extends far beyond the world of snooker. For more great snooker videos, click on the screen now.